Hi, this video will show you the connection between binary operation and group isomorphism. And I will illustrate this with an example. Here is an example. If phi from the set of rational number under addition to the set of rational number q under binary operation star defined by phi of x equal to 3x minus 1 is a group isomorphism. If x, y belongs to q star, what is x star y? First, we must understand the question. What is the meaning of isomorphism? According to John Freilein's text, section 3, page 29, definition 3.7. If we have s star and x prime star prime be binary algebraic structures, an isomorphism of s with s prime is a one-to-one -one function mapping s onto s prime such that phi of x star y must be equal to phi of x star prime phi of y. The last property is called the homomorphism property. How do we interpret this definition? So we go back to the problem. I have two groups there. The first group, the group of rational number under addition. And the second group is the group of rational number under star, where star is an unknown binary operation we're going to find out. Now, phi is a group isomorphism. So if the image of x is phi of x, and image of y is phi of y. Under the first group, we know binary operation is addition, so we can add them. And then on the right, the binary operation is star, so we can star the image. Now, if you have a group isomorphism, then the image of x plus y must be phi of x star phi of y. This means phi of x plus y must be equal to phi of x star phi of y. So what is phi of x plus y, phi of x and phi of y? Remember, phi of x is 3x minus 1. Therefore, phi of y is 3y minus 1 and what is phi of x plus y? So using the definition, we know that phi of x plus y is 3 times x plus y minus 1. And we simplify it to 3x plus 3y minus 1. So substitute this information, that is phi of x plus y is 3x plus 3y minus 1 and phi of x is 3x minus 1 phi of y is 3y minus 1 then we have 3x plus 3y minus 1 equal to 3x minus 1 star 3y minus 1 so can we tell what is x star y So if you find that it is a bit confusing, let's try to figure out A star B instead. The strategy is I'm going to call 3x minus 1 equal to A and 3y minus 1 equal to B. That means A plus 1 must be equal to 3x and B plus 1 equal to 3y. Now, let's do the substitution. So I have, this is going to be my a here, 2x minus 1, and this is going to be my b here, and 3x is going to be a plus 1, and 3y is going to be b plus 1 
If you write out in full, you'll get a plus 1 plus b plus 1 minus 1 equal to a star b. Now, if you simplify the left hand side, you'll find that a star b equal to a plus b plus 1. After cancellation. So now we know what is the formula of a star b now, which is a plus b plus 1. And so, since a and b are dummy, so we know x star y equal to x plus y plus 1. So, for example, if I know x star y equal to x plus y plus 1 then what is 1 star 1 so 1 star 1 will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3 now do you want to try another question now you try if I have Q under addition mapped to Q under star by phi, where phi is a group isomorphism given by phi of x equal to 5x minus 3. Can you tell what is x star y equal to?